Okay, so I don't understand exactly how the universal laws work. But I know there are some beings in the cosmos that have karma that they have piled up that they have yet to answer for and they're trying to get away with that. So even if, let's say, you're outside their creed like I am, outside their lane, and nothing religious, we don't have anything to do with that. And they're taking from us, they're stealing some quotes that they like from us, this, that, and the other, to keep their little Babylonian religion going. Well, you could copyright that shit, you see? And put a curse on those that are trying to do you dirty according to their own book, you know? Twofold curse. It could be a curse that, you know, whatever they're trying to take from you, you could take from them. And they really have no legal right to say anything. You see, as you do unto others, so it may be done unto you if it's something that they do not agree with. You know, the scripture says that the law was given to the lawless, not those that behave themselves. The law is for those that break the rules. You that tells others do not steal, do you kill? Do you steal from others? You know who I'm talking to. That's what your scripture says. Anyways, um... Yeah, so anyway, these beings in the cosmos that are getting away with a lot of BS, or so they think, they're trying to hide in the cosmos and, you know, they're trying to, they're trying to set something up from afar. You know who you are. Got your little spaceships coming in and out. Um, yeah, you could put a curse on them too. Let those that haven't reaped what they sowed as far as injustice, wickedness, sin, evil, and folly goes, let them reap, right? Let them reap that. And they don't have to, but they're going to have to start acting right and start behaving themselves and stop being a certain way, you know, because they say we didn't come here to judge, but check it out. Righteous judgment, correct judgment, proper judgment, left, right, up, down, and everywhere in between judgment. It's fine and dandy when somebody wants to hurt you in self-defense, you see, so you're putting a curse on them like uh, Native Americans would do to some of these Masonic uh Nobodies that took their land and you know defiled it and whatnot and built the 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 end times Babylon as we know it right and it might be going on to higher levels who knows how high but anyways yeah you can put a curse on it uh, the final judgment that they've been trying to get away from or this judgment that is awaiting them even even somebody like me has nothing to do with the scripture nothing to do with them all you could do is say this. Um, yeah, according to their own book, let them reap uh, double the end times judgment if they try to harm you who are innocent and have good intentions or someone like me that has nothing to do with this. It's trying to figure out, you know, what, what's really going on here? Why are they fighting? What's all the commotion about? So if you're just on some reckless shit, you know, you have to be held accountable for damage and all this, that and the other. Uh, humans too, humanity too. So if you don't want to let us go from this Babylonian captivity, then your ass is going to get a curse, you know? In whatever way that might be, you might look in the mirror and be like, damn, what the hell? Or who knows? You might get the, the curses of Deuteronomy 28, 2, 4. You might get, uh, I don't know, the judgment of the last day, twofold. If you... Don't stop. I mean, if you if you if you <laughs> if you keep going with with the the conflict, this, that, and the other, then uh, yeah, who knows? Um, even those that you should let go, forgive, because a lot of you have problems forgiving each other. You see, you're so puffed up with pride and fear or paranoia. Just know that nothing could trouble you. You see what I'm saying? That's why whatever devices, those that are tied to the Bible, the, the Bible, um, whatever judgments that they have set up for one another, themselves or others, you know, you don't want to execute them on some dumb shit or even on some angry and unforgiving shit because you don't know what could happen to you in the long run, how it might return to you. You might think you're getting away with a victory or like, I got them. But, you know, I just put a curse out there for those that are willingly wicked. I'm not going to say ignorance could be forgiven if you're ignorant. But even then, you know, 
Um, may may those that do stupid shit out of ignorance or folly be forgiven, and hopefully they they, they don't mess up where you know it, it gets out of hand or they do something that later on they might come to realize they messed up. And so, anyways, um, yeah, just uh, try to remember that. They're tied to the prophecies in the Bible. Some of these wicked entities that wanna run away here with a, a victory. You know, they're trying. They're playing on it. They're willingly meditating evil. They know what they're doing. So you could just put the curse of the Bible, right? The prophecies of the Bible, right back on them. So whatever they try to pull, they try to pull a fast one. You can say, man, those curses be bound to them until they fulfill them. If they don't want to change and give up their wicked ways, you see. And may they fall into their own devices, you know. And then some, then stuff outside of the Bible as well. Stuff that I'm just speaking and saying, you see. So just let, let us up, you know. There's no point in, I guess endangering all their safety and stuff like that because that's not what I want if I was up there in heaven I would take everybody up I wouldn't endanger your life or that of your families but that's just me you know everybody thinks different you know sometimes we think you know we see opportunity we want to take it ah but we like you could look in your little computer timeline you'd be like oh that'd be a big mistake you see what I'm saying maybe I could get him to trick himself you know, like some of these Hamites think, or some of these Olympians, or some of these dark siders, some of these humans too. Or this duality from the 13th uh, realm, or tribe, or war, however how you are. You know, I can get him to trick himself. Well, I put the curse that you fall into your own trickery if you try to pull a slick one on me. So, you know, yeah, may you reap double to fold your folly if you willingly are planning some wickedness. Because I can't see into the future. I don't got that technology high stuff to see what's going to happen if I do this, if I make this move. What happens here, what happens there. So they, so that's the benefit I got as a human being. That they're the ones with the heavy artillery. So I'm always at an advantage in that sense that, you know, if I had the same vantage point and ability they have, okay, it might be a little more dangerous, you see. That's why they send us down here as chess pieces, but... Anyways, yeah, they know who they are. Uh, I hope you could resonate with this message and I guess common sense isn't so common. Uh, mind and reason prevail. Once again, once again, says Lennox Lewis. Right? Science again, science again. Yes, science too. Anyways, not much, so don't.